New today, Republicans in the Senate offered several changes to the state's new abortion ban set to go into effect in less than 10 days. These new changes are happening less than a week before a federal judge hears arguments in a lawsuit to put the whole thing on hold. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie explains these surprise changes. North Carolina's new abortion law is set to take effect July 1st. Planned Parenthood has filed a lawsuit against it in federal court, and they're asking a judge to block it while that court case is underway. There's an emergency hearing on that set for Wednesday. Republican leaders here are clearly hoping that the changes they're making will head off a temporary restraining order. The changes rolled out today would make it clear that medication abortion is legal in North Carolina for the first 12 weeks of a pregnancy. The law currently says medication abortion can legally be used only in the first 70 days, which is 10 weeks. Senator Ralph Hayes said 12 weeks was the intent all along. He described the change as just a minor tweak. I mean, I don't know that that 13-day you know, difference is uh, any substantive change. Highs claimed to be unfamiliar with the Planned Parenthood lawsuit. However, the changes the Senate voted on today match up closely with the various mistakes and inconsistencies that lawsuit points out. Objection. Democrats only had 15 minutes to look at the changes before voting on them. Senator Sidney Batch wasn't surprised Republicans are in a hurry to pass them. This is a situation in which they know right now that there's litigation going on and an emergency hearing has been called for next week. Batch said Democrats pointed out all those problems before the law passed, but Republican leaders refused to make changes. Do you think they're just hoping that this will keep the, the judge from blocking it? I can't speak to what um, their thoughts are, but if I were on their side, I absolutely would do this because it would actually address the issue with regards to the stay. Uh, the bill needs one final Senate vote Monday night before it goes to the House for approval there. However, Governor Roy Cooper will have 10 days to decide whether to sign it, veto it, or let it become law without his signature. So it will be delayed beyond that court hearing. Laura Leslie, WRL News, Raleigh. Planned Parenthood spokesperson Molly Rivera responded in a statement saying, quote, the leaders of the General Assembly know this abortion ban is deeply unpopular and problematic, which is why they again resorted to deceitful tactics without giving any notice to the public, end quote. The original law was unveiled and passed along party lines in about 48 hours, leaving little time for public input.